Yo what's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you the best video control panel settings to boost your FPS, lower your latency and overall make the game feels more smooth. If you like this type of content make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, now enjoy. Sometimes by only changing your in-game settings you cannot make a big difference, but if you change the in-game settings and the NVIDIA control panel settings you can make your game run more smoother. I have a video about the CS2 settings that you can check out. So now, to open your NVIDIA control panel, go to your desktop, right click and choose NVIDIA control panel. You can do the same by searching in the search bar. Now when we are here, the first thing we should do is go to adjust image settings with preview and choose the option use my preference emphasizing and move it all the way to the left. This will boost your FPS at the cost of making your game with more lower quality. Now go to manage 3D settings and copy the settings that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to give you some explanation on some of them that are important. Image sharpening, sharpening off, scaling disabled, ambient occlusion off, anti-stropic filtering off, anti-lysing off, anti-lysing gamma correction on, anti-lysing mode off, anti-lysing transparency off, background application max frame rate 30 fps to make sure that if spotify or discord is working in the background it's on really low fps to not interrupt your game go to gpus o dsr factors off low latency mode on or ultra this will lower the latency of your game and make your mouse and keyboard more responsible max frame rate off monitor technology you can leave this on g-sync compatible multi-frame sampled aa off OpenGL rendering GPU auto select, power management mode, make sure this setting is on preferred maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, highest available, shader cache, choose 10 GB to make sure that the game will look and work the best, texture filtering, anti-stropic sample optimization on, texture filtering, negative load bias, clamp, texture filtering, quality, performance, Texture filtering trilinear optimization on, thread optimization auto, triple buffering off and vertical sync off and make sure to hit apply after that. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one and see you in the next one.